Good afternoon, everyone. Mega said that this is a forum which is by the women, of the women, and for the women. I'm just happy and lucky to be here that I've gotten this opportunity. It is a little intimidating, but I'll do my best. Shama, uh, thank you for being here. Shazia ji, thank you so much for being here. Shama, we've known each other since before you joined politics for a couple of decades now. You've been a doctor as well. I'm not sure whether you still practice that or not. You're a different kind of doctor now. Let's put it that way. But uh, okay, we are talking about the state of women, or rather, the position of women under the Modi government. We can go into what all has been done. The prime minister has been, you know, unequivocal when he talks about how the situation of women in our country has completely transformed, owing to a couple of revolutionary initiatives that this government has taken. Foremost, let's talk about, you know, the Shochalya Abhiyan the toilets that have been constructed, that has also been pledged as a dignified way of uh, making sure that women find the right kind of uh, inclusivity that they deserve. And secondly, you know, we've seen the Prime Minister, you know, up till recently, when he went to Assam, when he went to the Eastern States right before the election, talk about how the platform for women has expanded under the Bharatiya Janata Party. As somebody from the opposition party, I want you to, you know, not only look at uh, what Alka ji said as the glass half full or half empty, I want you to look at the glass in totality and tell me what you feel about that. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to start with, since you said it's a panel on the discussion topic is Muslim women. Women, I can go on, like Alka ji has said, I can go on on it uh, about the Bhatia Janta Party. Um, Let's start with the triple talaq, for example. All right, I've, I'm going to go in continuity. Now, triple talaq is first of all, as a Muslim woman who knows the Quran, it's not there in the Holy Quran. It, that, you know, it's practiced in mainly Northern India. Okay, we went to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court said null and void. What does the meaning of null and void means? When the man says talaq, 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 it is not talaq. She can say that it is null and void, it is not talaq. Now, what does the Modi government do after that? They go to criminalize it. That is, they make it a cognizable offense. What is a cognizable offense? Is when anybody out there can say, you know what, I heard this man say talaq, talaq, talaq to his wife. And you can play, go to the police and place a complaint. The police can arrest him without a warrant. So he's in jail for 10 years. So the question today is, yes, if you're criminalizing triple talaq, also criminalize those men because I run an organization in Kerala called the Zoya Charitable Trust, and so I meet a lot of women. Also criminalize those men who abandon their wives and children. They have to be also criminalized, according to me, because there are so many men out there who are not Muslims, but non-Muslims also, who abandon their wives, their children. Why don't you criminalize that? That will be better, one. Number two, after that, I go to the Shabrimala issue. What happened during Shabrimala? The Supreme Court said, women between the age of 10 and 50 can enter the temples. Now, what did Mr. Amit Shah say? He said, Article 14 is, Article 14 has the right to equality, but Article 25 and 26 gives you the freedom to practice your religion. The same Amit Shah, where I have nothing against that, all right, I come from Kerala. I understand what it is because I was given an explanation that that uh, Ayappa is a brahmachari, so that is the reason. And Hindu women also there wanted it. Fine, I agree with that. But the same Amit Shah, when it came to the hijab in Karnataka, what did he say? That time there is no Article 25, there is no Article 26. The Constitution says that they cannot wear. Now. Let me make one thing clear on hijab today. No government, no husband, no man will decide if I want to wear hijab or Shazia Elmi wants to wear hijab or any lady here wants to wear hijab. It is, I can see a lady here. It is the right of the woman. And that much freedom Islam has given to its women that we decide that if I want to wear a hijab or not. Okay. Right? So what happened during the hijab thing? Six girls couldn't attend a college in Udupi. It could have been sorted out. We could have said, you know what, let them wear the color of the hijab white if the uniform is white. We that have it also, in England, we have it in other countries. That was also a discretion of the school. That was also a discretion of that public, uh, that particular school 
to actually uphold that particular stand. It was not necessarily the government so then, stand of the day. So then what happened? It went to can, the court. Can I come and in? When, just, I'm coming to you. Just give it a minute. When, just, just wrap up, Shama. You only have to on the topic. Can, so. No, can I just finish, Sasha? Yeah, uh, yeah, we are friends. This is not a television yeah, yeah, debate. We are not on TV. I, I we are, but this I, is a different she, kind of He'll give you your just, time. Just Let me finish. So what did he say then? What, what happens when the Supreme Court, the whole all BJP government, including their advocate general, was that women cannot, girls cannot wear hijab. Bomai, no hijab. Everybody in okay. Karnataka. Let, let, and, let and, Shazia and, respond and, to that. Okay, Shazia. Shama is saying that, you know, this you know, emancipation. Just, just one second, I'll come back to you. Shazia, uh, yeah, Shama is basically saying that this is a case of selective emancipation. So, clearly, um, the, the topic has not been made clear. So, I will uh, repeat it. Because it's on Muslim women and on triple talaq. Have they prospered? Are they better off? Is yeah. that, that's so the larger first picture of that all, we're looking every, at. So, every scheme of this government, I think women's development has been the cornerstone of every central scheme of this government. Um, let's, if you come look at triple talaq of or rights of marriage, Muslim women's bill, you will realize that the various women, Muslim women, approach different benches, not just in Uttar Pradesh but other places, uh, other benches, uh, uh, and they ask that triple talaq should be done away with, should be removed. Which is, exactly what, which is exactly what the Supreme Court asked for. And after the pernicious practice, which has been there in India since the 13th century, and despite the reversal on the Shah Banu case, we all saw how the Muslim clergy took over. In fact, they went against the mandate of Quran uh, and Islamic values and constitution values and human values. And they, they kept, wanted to keep and leave out the minority from the minority. But the Muslim women, 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 the Muslim that did not succumb to orthodoxy or anti-women legislation right. and actually okay. enacted, no, I, I'm not done, and actually enacted a legislation which gives women the right to question uh, triple talaq, which is un-Islamic, because talaq hasan and talaq ehsan are permissible, but talaq biddat, which was being practiced, is unconstitutional and un-Islamic. So finally, good constitution, good sense, and Quran has prevailed, okay. thanks to uh, BJP government okay, okay. And, Shama, and not Shama, just that on hijab that? And, okay. and not just on hijab let me come to you and I want to just say about that it is about law and it's about a school and it's about a uniform just like the police women here um, proud of you my sisters salute to you and um, um, army is there they wear the uniform and they wear it with pride okay I was a, I was a little girl going to St. Mary's convent Kanpur and it was difficult to come out of Chamanganj. everybody in my house wore a burqa but I had to wear a skirt uh, because that was my uniform. Right. And for the sake of education, my so family had in, to fight. So, that, so no, those girls in finish. Karnataka should have worn the hijab or not? And, and, and also I want to make a few things clear. All the statements attributed to the current Home Minister, Amit Shah Ji, uttered by uh, my friend um, Shama, are not true. No such statement on hijab was given by Amit Shah at okay. all. So I just okay. want Let to make Shama that clear. Respond. The Shama, statement Shama, was given this, on Shama, a CNN Shama, hold on News 18 hold on, Shama, just hold interview on Shama, one and I can vouch for it. What I will she get said you the evidence. As well. Shama, my, my, let me articulate no, what second, has been said. No, 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 once again. I, I do hold not, on. I let do me at least ask you a question. Uh, let me ask you a question. No, do you think you, you, she, it is always going to boil, boil down between Shah Banu and Bilkis Banu when we talk about Muslim women in India now? No, first let me clear that. That statement was made because it's not there in the article exactly what Mr. Amit Shah said. Now, my thing is when she mentioned triple talaq, I did not say anything against it, no? Did I say anything against it? I'm, I'm saying Congress that's fine. Congress party voted let, against it. Let, I want to tell oh, the I'm, I'm okay, sorry. Let, 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 okay, Shazaji, Shazaji, one, one second. Shazaji, one second. Doesn't matter what Shama Muhammad thinks, the party in the okay, parliament, Shazaji, we can't you had you against it. Let, a, let her come back, Shazaji. My Shazi party Shazi. stand, I know. My party did not vote against you. triple talaq. It did. 
It let wanted us, the triple talaq away. How did she tell me come about on, my let party let stand? Let they facts. did not want the but triple talaq. Do you know your facts? I'm but sorry. You know, no, no. How is not yeah, done? I, I mean, you do you can, know who? You can, you can correct There's her. There's an she, anchor she, you should interview. Do you know which parties voted for the bill against the bill? I did intervene. I stopped her from stopping. As a, no, no, as an one anchor, second, you should know. One second. One second. One second. Sam, don't get me somebody like this who keeps interfering and not have any decency for me to talk. Let's keep it plain and simple. We have facts. I know her. Let's just. I'm not interfering. Let me speak. This is this is you know this is like a charity event. That's what we're doing here. <laughs> so please, you know, my we ag I are against. To stick to facts. Let her finish, Shazia. Please, let her finish. Shama, nobody we will interrupt. We are against triple talaq. Very clear on that. Nobody in my party stood for triple talaq. And as far as the Shabanu thing, I'm saying it all over here that it was not right. It was a mistake, and I'm I'm telling you that. Okay, okay. I'm I'm not going to say that. Oh, we. right thing no it was wrong and as a muslim woman i agree on that now my point here is she says there is just a triple talaq now what are we seeing after that we saw the ca protests what did mr modi say ye aag lagane wale kaun hai wo unke kapdon se pata chalta hai what is the meaning of that those are muslim women who were there during the ca protests So on one side you do a triple talaq and then you say aag lagane wale hai jo musalman hai wahan wo aag laga rahe hain okay. ek minute mujhe khatam karne do aap please aap mere point khatam nahi kar mujhe khatam karne do Nobody so you anything. have you have that one issue happening then you have bulldozers going on mus muslim uh, houses bulldozers are always there there are issues i remember when agni veer happened many train stations police stations were burned down all right during that uh, agni path the new uh, the, this thing which has come out now why don't you also bulldoze those so when you bulldoze a house in madhya pradesh number of houses were bulldozed stone pelting you say i mean what is the law say law says that if somebody is stone pelting i am saying today punish him arrest the person who is stone pelting putting behind bars let a case happen but you go and bulldoze a house you you know what are you doing you bulldozing a woman's heart who builds the house a money a man gives the money to a muslim okay. woman or any woman she is the one who collects little by little things in that beautiful house her dreams are shattered when you bulldoze a house number next point lynch mobs nasser and junaid killed why were they burned alive in haryana they were burned alive they did not even have a cattle with them nothing they were burned alive because of suspicious that they were cattle farmers all right and after who who whose children are they a muslim mother's children remember the lynch mobs okay. aklaq it started on why is the prime minister of india not condemning this and coming okay. out and say you see i want the rule of law in india i don't want this to happen a triple talaq does not change things a triple talaq i am against the congress party is against what i am asking today is what is he actually doing for muslim women okay. i have my friend shazia ilmi right. sitting here we, we, she's been in the party for 8 years yeah. has she been made a rajya sabha member as she begin a ticket how many muslims forget male or female do not can get tickets respond, in that please? party can she respond we only have 3 minutes left into this conversation so we have to allocate time judiciously shazia ji so i want to just answer some of the things again uh, um, um, half truths and uh, non truths have been thrown around so the parliament the 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 triple act uh, law was passed protection of rights of marriage muslim women's bill and i want just want to tell all of you here that uh, congress party actually walked out congress party walked out Lie, in protest we were against is there hindu you can just have to google it all of you you'll know this that is how it was passed and uh, reasons were given in fact for years and years um, this has been a demand and uh, i think there are enough journalists here and activists who know this and i think we have the good old search who will tell us what happened i i followed it carefully uh, so just like uh, in in quran because this was never a part of quran triple talaq which is talaq 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 the oral proclamation of the word talaq which was lead to an annulment of marriage which is actually very unfair and we have somebody with us a survivor uh, right here with us um um assalam alaikum to you and you know god speed to you sari duaen aapke liye aur okay. desh ka kanoon finally aapke liye hai ban gaya hai ki finally Okay. If a man throw, you're not letting me speak. We need you up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> just right. if you if you just see the allocation of time given. Please. You can okay. Just go ahead. I just uh, said okay. I agreed with you. I didn't stop you. Go ahead. Yeah. So 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 finally, Muslim women have recourse. You can go to a police station 
and register this. Earlier before this, a woman would be just abandoned, thrown out of the house. And all India Muslim Law Board, during the time of Shah Bano case, was deciding the matter and Supreme Court ordinance was thrown out and done away with. This was Rajiv Gandhi government. And it is this government, our present government, which ensured that uh, in keeping with the Supreme Court judgment, no ordinance will come to overthrow it, but it will be honored. And a Muslim woman would have legal recourse. She can go to court of law and she can say that I have been abandoned, I have been thrown out of my house, and I deserve a life of dignity. So I think this is the importance of, of, of uh, maintaining the dignity and protection of a marriage for a Muslim woman. Can I come in? And I yeah, think we've, we've run out of time as yeah, well. Yeah, so no, my last point, is, last point is she's been repeating only the triple talaq. And again, I say we were against triple talaq, but we were not for criminalization of triple talaq, the individual. If you're going to criminalize him, criminalize all men who abandon women and the last lid on it of what Mr. Modi has done against women is definitely what Alkaji also said, the Bilkis Banu rape case. Now here, the woman was gang raped, let's understand. The men who did it killed her three-month-old, three-year-old child, took the head, smashed it on the wall, mm. raped her mother and sister in front of them, or in front of her, killed 14 of her relatives. They were then taken by police. These, these dead bodies, when they were exhumed, were decapitated to not find out who they were. The case had to be shifted from there, from Gujarat to Maharashtra. You understand the case? And this woman, Bilkis Banu, stood all that and won the case. And what do you okay. do to her? You release a rapist. You give ticket to their daughters. You make them stand with an MLA and MP in Gujarat just one week back and they did a program. Okay. What is the message you're not giving to Muslim women, but to the women of this country? We've run out of time. That Shazaji, I'm going to give you half a minute to respond and then we conclude. So, no, she has Rajasthan, Rajasthan is, she, one second. So, Rajasthan, despite his population, is a Congress-run state and it leads in uh, the numbers in, ca in crimes against women. And uh, obviously, con Congress party wants to even you politicize something like instance. rape. So I do when not want to politicize rape. Let me finish. Please. What is more let's than not that? Do this. Chama, let her finish. Let's not, she let's didn't scream. interrupt you. Let her finish. Let's not scream. Let's not scream. Something like rape cannot be used as a political tool. This is about our bodies. This is about our dignity. Kapde, rape kapde cannot be used hai? as a political tool. I'm afraid. Uh, the women raped in Rajasthan would not be talked about. Why? Because it's a Congress rule state. And the crime and the increased crimes and rapes have been the maximum in Rajasthan. When it look at policing and law and okay. order, these are the National Crime Bureau. Police, right, we've run out of time, Shama, Police I have taken action against it. It is not us. You journalists brought us Hathras. We, we've run you out of time. You brought us to attention, Unao. Nobody else. It is the journalists who brought these cases up. Get the journalists. Tell us a okay. case in Rajasthan All where right. we have not sure we have not stood with the victim. This is not going to end. Tell me today. This is not going to end today. I will tell you, Ashok Gelo. This is this is not going to end today. You are the journalists we, we, who got these cases. Okay. We saw All what right. happened. Shama, what is Shama, we've run out of time. It's time for our next session. So at the end of the conversation, all I can say, it was inconclusive, but the conclusion still comes out that we all, you both, agreed to disagree. So thank you for coming here and pouring your heart out. Thank you. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.